Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for you, my friends. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a smaller Celtic cross for this one. It is not science specific. And let's find out together what's coming through for you in the love arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. Hand of cards. Take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. Love call, someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. Bottom of the deck, we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. Let's also pull from this oracle deck. All right. We get romance. Makes sense. You are ready. Remain positive. Ask your angels. So there can be an intuitively guided decision. Improving health, another important factor, especially if there is a separation involved in the whole scenario. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about these energies. And we are ready. So current situation, six of wands, the challenge, ten of swords, crowning energy, the empress, talk about improving health, core of the situation, queen of cups, past energy, page of cups, future energy, possible outcome, four of cups, the focus, knight of wands, love call, so there was a separation, the challenge is the separation, but the person that can reach out uh, may be perceived as a player, truly, hand of cards, playing games, being strategic. Bottom of the deck we have the tower. Further confirmation that uh, the big issue is the Ten of Swords and the crumbling down of a situation. How can we avoid to remember that things uh, didn't go well between the two of us? Love call. Someone shows up. Someone uh, sends a text. Someone makes a call. I am curious about the Page of Cups, guys, to be honest, because it is, um, it is an energy that can be simple but meaningful. If it is about the connection, it seems that it was not able to be developed properly. And that's why things didn't work. Some of you have left behind the battlefield, Six of Wands, so you are pursuing your victory, your success. And that's why this Knight of Wands can leave you guys like the man in the Four of Cups. Not impressed. Kind of like the kind of like this connection, this new opportunity uh, to be together is not your cup of tea. Let's pull more cards, let's see, um, six of wands, there is a realization, well the realization in this case can be about 
um, the combination of energies that um, is represented by the tower and by the ten of swords nine of wands the wounded warrior so we have two warriors there was a disappointment because of how things went defenses up for protection some of you have become wiser and that's why you cannot be fooled by this person and another consideration that we can make is about the fact that it seems that there is a convenience for the other person but you can truly understand that there is a strategy for the other person it can be a matter of gambling they are trying they are trying to to see what can be your reaction but It seems that they can find uh, the door shut. Let's see the Ten of Swords. Five of Cups, regrets, disappointments, sadness, things that didn't go according to expectations. This person can say that they have missed you guys, but this Knight of Wands this Knight of Wands can be um, about a playerish character that is thinking that they know better and they can win some of you guys over one more time, let's say. Let's go for the Empress. The embodiment of self-love. Um, she can understand if a situation is deserving of her nurturing and caring energies. But you already know that this situation was not able to achieve um, a long-term potential, let's say. Three of Cups, what the figure in the Five of Cups is looking at. Considering the playerish vibration, guys, this can be about third party scenarios in the past. That's why the tower uh, crumbled down. The Magician, someone that takes action, someone that manifests um, a change, I would say if this energy speaks to you if this energy speaks about the person that you are interacting with I do not like it because they can think that uh, they can make this reunion let's say a reality because they know better This is a situation that can uh, be um, a little bit unfair towards uh, some of you guys because the other person seems to be truly one with uh, second intentions and they kind of um, they kind of think that we can pretend that the Tower and the Ten of Swords and the Five of Cups uh, situation um, didn't happen, you know? It was not really a big deal, even if things didn't work, because uh, this time it can be super different. What are you talking about? That's why the Four of Cups is an energy that is not impressed. Bottom of the Tower, we have 
this strength card, look, this strength card, the Devil, the Seven of Swords, and the Judgment. This can be a second chance, but also a, a divine truth in favor of you guys. This is a cycle that should be, uh, my goodness, left in the past for good. Let's see the Queen of Cups, core of the situation. Uh, we can say the lacking of heart about the connection, so you couldn't find uh, fulfillment. This can be one of the reasons. Hierophant. For some of you, maybe it was a committed relationship, even a marriage, but without heart. And that's why the Ten of Swords and the Tower. And no wonder that you can resist going with the strength card, which is also a matter of trust, a new exchange with a person that is a tricky one. Devil, Seven of Swords, Influence. Let's see this Page of Cups because We get three cards, King of Wands, Four of Pentacles, Three of Swords. The taking action that some of you guys um, have decided to manifest about this connection in the past didn't pay dividends lacking heart as we have shared there was a stubbornness four of pentacles it can be part of the cycle influenced by the devil and the seven of swords if it was a third party scenario involved uh, it was kept secret but then it was discovered big completion three of swords also influenced heartache but at the same time all these energies cannot be ignored so no wonder that it's a matter of improving health but this uh, this connection can be a bad romance Let's see the Four of Cups. Also, this man is looking at uh, the Three Cups down below. The past. A lot of cards, guys. We get four. Let's see. Eight of Wands. Love call. Someone expresses love. The other person can try. They can play the card of passion also. King of Swords, this should be your mindset. No games, no games, truth and clarity. Ten of Pentacles. The other person can make promises, guys. And if you were married, they can truly say that uh, this time everything will be fine. But at the same time, if you are looking for Ten of Pentacles, you kinda know that this person cannot bring it. Queen of Wands. Healthy self-confidence in your favor, guys. The Queen is um, super attractive, magnetic. She can catch a lot of attention. Um, it's an energy that can go with the Empress one, but she is intuitively guided. The Black Cat as a best friend and she can understand if a situation is the one for her or not. This one is not uh, a promising situation because of uh, the mindset of the other person. And bottom of this Muller deck, we have one more time the Six of Wands for their confirmation. 
we need to leave the battlefield behind. The battlefield is the Ten of Swords, and as I usually say, despite how challenging the energy can be, there is a new dawn on the horizon, the sun will rise up again, new opportunities will come in favor of those that were called to be brave and power through a challenging situation, but um, this, this person that shows up one more time uh, kind of pretending that everything is fine, we can work things out, this time will be different. Uh, they seem to be, they seem to be, um, they seem to be disconnected from the reality, kind of like they are living in a dream, you know? And some of you may not be uh, impressed and you can keep the interaction extremely easy in order to um, tie the loose ends about this situation. So guys, some more oracle cards for guidance considering these energies. We get observer. Well, you can look at the other person kinda asking yourself if they are serious and um, no wonder, because they can truly uh, they can truly play like nothing happened when in reality, literally, a tower went down. Especially if this wo this one was a marriage, and so soulmates. This is a meaningful energy. Uh, soulmates have different roles in our journey uh, but in this picture for me there is trust because one penguin is holding uh, the key to the other penguin's heart and so maybe this was a factor that was missing and that's why some of you are not willing to uh, even consider the chance to try again with this person new life it's the brand new cycle that can begin um, as soon as this interaction is um, over for good. Despite the fact that considering the Tower and the Ten of Swords uh, as a situation that has already manifested, the new chapter already began. And so it's a, it's a further confirmation, basically. So we are avoiding to fall for a cycle that is um, one that we have already gone through. Round and round is a Two of Pentacles energy for me. In the Two of Pentacles, we have the rough waters uh, behind the man. And we cannot we cannot allow the game of this person to lure us back in a situation that was extremely challenging and that we have already managed to overcome. So the battlefield uh, should be left in the past and we should move forward. And this is in itself a fork in the road so big crossroads guys uh, but you can make the best out of it um, simply because you can pay respect to the lessons that you have learned about this connection and what can be a desire for a second chance for the other person is instead a divine truth in your favor and there is an answer thanks but no thanks because this one is not your cup of tea so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye